वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल देसी डो एक्सप्लोरर्स होप यू आर इंजॉइंग और स्पेन ट्रेवल सीरीज एंड इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच डिट येट क्लिक ऑन द इन्फो लिंक टू वॉच इट इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल एक्सप्लोर वेलेंसिया सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वी स्टार्टेड आवर डे विद अ विजिट टू द सेंट्रल मार्केट ऑफ वेलेंसिया फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द बिल्डिंग इज फिनल वेल मेंटेन्ड एंड ब्यूटिफुली डेकोरेटेड The market has something for everyone lots of food different fruits and vegetables It's a nice place to grab some snacks and taste some local food Next we made our way to visit La Lonza located just next to Central Market. We purchased a Valencia tourist card which includes entry to this place and public transports in Valencia. Link will be provided in the description box. It's one of the highest rated tourist attractions in Valencia. This place is a hidden gem. It's not very big, just several halls, but each of them is just stunning. Interior and exterior of this building is very beautiful. Large stained glass windows and wooden ceilings look amazing. After visiting La Lonja, we proceed to our next destination, San Nicolas Church. We had already purchased its tickets online but we had a Valencia tourist card so we paid 7 euros per adult instead of 10. Link will be provided in the description box. It's a Gothic style Catholic church with an ornate box interior including gilding and ceiling paintings. This 
church is referred to as the Valencian Sistine Chapel. It's very beautiful and worth the visit. Next, we started walking and exploring the city center of Valencia. After walking for some time, we came across Placa de la Verge. A lively square, home of the Turia Fountain, lined with iconic history buildings and outdoor cafes. Next to this square, we also saw Valencia Cathedral, but we had planned to visit it in the evening as we had to visit the City of Arts and Science. We made our way to the bus stop to catch a bus to reach the art and science city of Valencia. The bus was full but anyways we got to stand in front so we were able to capture the whole view of the city on our way. We had already purchased all-inclusive ticket for the City of Arts and Science which includes Oceanographic, Hemisphere and Science Museum. But we got a 10% discount with our tourist card. Link will be provided in the description box. itself we were able to get a view of the enormous and beautiful architecture of it. And here we have reached our destination. After reaching there first we went to visit Oceanographic which usually takes most of the time of the visit. For us, 
it took approx 6 hours to visit it as a whole but it depends on your interest and pace we will make a dedicated video for our visit to the city of arts and science so stay tuned When we finished our visit to Art and Science City, it was already dark. So we headed to visit the city center to see it at night. As we went on this trip for the Christmas holidays, so every place was decorated with lights. Plaza del Altamirano is one of the best place to see christmas lights and feel the festive spirits city looks more beautiful and lively in the evening a lot of performances were going on there There was also a small Christmas market with lots of decorated stalls for food and handicrafts. Next, we went to visit our last destination of the day, Valencia Cathedral. We were able to enter just before the mass, so the entrance was free, but we had a short time with limited access. It's a beautifully built and yet impressive cathedral. There are chapels surrounding the main altarpiece that are worth exploring. 
दिस कैथीड्रल लिजेंडली हैड द होली क्रेल फ्रॉम द लास्ट सफर Right in the heart of the city center this cathedral is absolutely stunning With this we ended our exploration for the day We hope you enjoyed the beautiful city of Valencia as much as we did and see you in our next video where we will continue our exploration of the city of arts and science so stay tuned Thanks for watching and don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell for more travel adventures